Hey and welcome, I'm Solo and this is ZN Gaming. In this video, I'll be going over how to update your ASUS motherboard. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. In this example, I am using an ASUS B650 plus Wi-Fi, but if you're not using the exact same motherboard that I am, that is absolutely fine. This process is gonna be the same for most ASUS motherboards. And if you're not sure what motherboard or BIOS version that you do have, you can download ASUS motherboard software called Armory Crate. When it's loaded up, you can just go to the I up here, which is the dashboard, and you will be able to see what your motherboard is and the BIOS version that you're on. This is gonna be important for when we go to get our BIOS. We need to make sure that we have the correct motherboard. So we have a Tough Gaming B650 plus Wi-Fi. This is the only information we're really gonna need when we search up the BIOS update that we're gonna need. Now that we know what motherboard we have, let's just jump over to ASUS's website and look for the BIOS drivers. To get there, you can just Google search your motherboard and it's usually gonna come up with the website ASUS. Once you click on it, it's just gonna load up here and we're just gonna go to the support. Once you click support, it's gonna load up to the part of the site that's gonna allow you to download your drivers and tools. When we click on drivers and tools, we're gonna to have drivers and tools and your BIOS and firmware. Now, if you wanna download Armory Crate, you can actually download it from at the very bottom. It's gonna have the Armory Crate here. So if you want the official version and to make sure you're getting the one, the correct version for your motherboard, this is where you can download it from. But we're gonna go over here to the BIOS and firmware. And as we can see, the BIOS version, the most up-to-date one is version 3057. Now, if I look back, I can see that I'm on 3035, so I am a little bit out of date. I'm not too far behind, so it's not a big problem, but this means that we can download this one here and that there's an update available. So it is good to check for a BIOS update every once in a while. You're not gonna wanna do these here all the time because there is a risk if you have a power outage. If there's an issue with power outage or anything like that, there you will have a few problems. So it's not good to do this here like every single time a new update comes out, but it's good to do it once you see any kind of problems. So if you're having hitched in games or seeing some kind of system errors or just things not working correctly it's always good to check to see if there's a bios update and do it it'll usually tell you what's included and what has been updated now that it's downloaded we're just going to go over here and we're going to open up where show in folder and we're going to extract all so for that we're just going to right click it and go down here to extract all and click extract the next thing we're going to do is run the bios renamer this here is just going to rename the file to what it's supposed to be for the bios to pick it up and install it's gonna load up here with a script. It's gonna say BIOS renamer. We're gonna press any key to continue. Now the BIOS is renamed to uh, TGB650PW. We're just gonna close this here out. Now we're gonna to need to plug in a USB drive. It should open automatically for you, but if it doesn't, you can go down here to the folder explorer. You can right click, open file explorer, and you will be able to search through your drives here to see where it is. So you'll be able to see your games and any other drive that you have. You can see the random one here. This is the USB drive that I just plugged in. So if it doesn't open automatically, this is where you're gonna find it. It's gonna be in this here PC. We're just gonna close this. Now the file that we extracted, we're just gonna drag this one here over into the USB drive. We just wanna take note of the name here because we're gonna see this here later when we boot into the, when we boot into the BIOS install, this is the file that we're gonna look for when we're doing the install. So this is how we're gonna know we're gonna have we know it's a tough gaming b650 we really don't need to remember the rest of it just that first part will let us know if we have the correct drive or not and we're ready we can just close this here down next we're just going to need to boot to the bios for this we're going to have to restart the computer well it's restarting we're going to have to spam delete so that we load into the bios all right once the bios loads up we're going to go down here to advanced mode after that, we're just going to go across here to the tools menu and it's going to show the ASUS Easy Flash 3 utility. We're just going to click on that there. And the first thing that loads up should be your USB drive. And this is why I remember the name is the Tough Gaming. This is the one. We're going to click it and it says the TGB 650. We're just going to give this one here a click. It's just going to ask you again, important notice, please back up your BitLocker. So if you have BitLocker or anything like that there, that's going to be a problem. That's probably going to interrupt the install. That's not going to be included in this here video. But if you don't have BitLocker, just click yes to continue. And easy flash. Do you want to read this here file? We're going to click yes. It might freeze for a minute. This here usually takes about a minute. And then it's going to show your BIOS information and the version. So it's gonna show that we're going to version 3037 or 3057 and we're gonna click yes again. This is just gonna go through the install process just like any other time and we're gonna lose the video. There's no video out for the process. Okay, it restarted, that's not a problem. It should load back in and start doing it. Okay, I thought I dropped out my video there. Now it's just gonna load through the process. 
Make sure that you don't interrupt the power, don't restart it, don't don't kick the power or anything like that. Make sure it's a day that you know you're not going to lose power, because if you interrupt it, you could cause yourself a little bit of issue trying to get it fixed. It should only take a few minutes to install. At some point, it might seem like it freezes, and it might hang on a few different loading points for a few minutes. Don't be worried, sometimes it takes a little bit longer than others. After it's done, your system should automatically restart, but you can click OK to get the process started. I'm going to get a no signal here while it's restarting. <laughs> Now, when it restarts, because you did a BIOS install, a fresh BIOS install is going to ask you to go through your configurations and make sure everything's correct. It's going to load up to a screen that asks you to push F1 for to enter the setup. So on this here page, it should say press F1 to run the setup. We're just going to press F1 and we're going to run the setup. Every single time that you do a BIOS update, it's going to reset all of the things in your BIOS. So there's going to be some things that you want to make sure that you come in here and change if you're just doing a fresh installation for your first time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the advanced mode again. You can either press F7 or click on it here. And we're going to go to the AI tweaker page. So if you have the AI tweaker, you're going to see this here AI overclock tuner. Now it's going to be on auto by default, which isn't going to set your RAM speed. So my frequency of my CPU looks fine, but my memory speeds at 4800 don't look correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this here drop down menu where it says auto. It says manual DOCP or this will be XMP depending on the brand with with the ASUS boards, it'll be DOCP. We're just going to click on the first one and see what we get. So I'm happy with this here. It's going to change my RAM speed up to 6,000 speeds. That looks correct. It's DDR5. And we're going to leave everything else the same. This is just one thing that I definitely suggest you always do. Even when you get a brand new computer or if you install new RAM or do a BIOS update, you should always come in here and make sure that you change your settings so that your RAM is the correct speed. It's a huge bunch of performance that you leave on the table if you don't. That being said, that's the last thing that you're going to need to do in here we're just going to exit we're going to save changes and reset it's going to tell us that we changed all these here things change the docp uh it shows the ddr5 and it's going to change some of the fan settings in here to compensate for the extra that power that it's going to be using we're just going to click ok we're okay with all these here settings now that we made those changes it should just load up like it does any other time so it should just load straight into windows from this here screen Alright, once it loads up, you'll know everything went smooth. You can double check Armory Crate if you want to double check to make sure the installation went correct. I loaded into the BIOS when I was checking the RAM and doing those updates, so I know that it's on the correct version. But that's it for this one here. I just wanted to cover how to install your BIOS on an Asus motherboard. I hope this here helped you out. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye!